Okay, so in this question, we're told a particle is projected vertically downwards from a great height. It hits the ground with a speed of 28 meters per second. We're asked to determine the time it took the particle to cover those last 15 meters of its motion. So just a quick diagram, just to set this up in my head. Here's a platform. The particle is being launched from that platform and I'm choosing down to be my positive direction. I don't know how high the platform is, but I don't actually need to know. We're just considering the last 15 meters of its motion. So let's take our two variables. Displacement is 15. I don't know the initial velocity for those last 15 meters. The final velocity we do know is going to be 28 and the acceleration is 9.8. So that's the information that we know. We're looking for time. The formula that helps us out here is S equals VT minus half AT squared. So substituting in the values that we know, we generate a quadratic equation, which we can go ahead and solve. 4.9T squared minus 28T plus 15 equals zero. When we solve, we actually get two solutions, two possible answers here. T equals 0 0.5983 or T equals 5.1159. Now the two answers we get here are for two slightly different situations. We have an unknown initial velocity. So the initial velocity at the beginning of this journey, which represents a 15 meter displacement, it could have been traveling up or it could have been traveling down. And these are the two times connected with those two different situations. If the initial velocity was upwards, the journey would take longer to have a displacement of 15 meters. Whereas if it was downwards, which is what we're considering here, it would take less time to have a displacement of 15 meters. So we're going to choose this shorter time, 0 0.5983.